Tamazimab in rehab in the grand scheme of veterinary medicine, it's pretty new and in this hospital it's also pretty new. It's really fun to see patients that aren't walking. You do PT for a few months and they they come in and you know the only reason you can tell that they didn't walk is because you knew it beforehand. How is she doing? She, I heard that she's doing pretty well. She's doing really well. Good. She's been having a few good days. Good. All right. Well, we're going to do About a year and a half ago, Kia was diagnosed with osteoarthritis. She has it in her elbows, her shoulders, and in her hips. And the diagnosis was mild to moderate degenerative joint disease in all of those joints. She has what's considered a multimodal treatment plan. And there is a tremendous difference in when she walks through the gray doors off to the rehab area and when she comes back. Whenever we do a physical exam on a dog, we're taking a note of what their impairments are, what they're having trouble with. Um, is this dog able to take pain medications? Are they not able to take pain medications? Keo is not necessarily a candidate for a non-steroidal pain medication. And so that is one of the reasons that we chose and her, the doctors chose to do a PRP injection um, and thought that she might be a good candidate for acupuncture. So we tried that and she got some pain relief from that. And we put her in the underwater treadmill and that's probably our most used modality out of everything that we have. It gives them the ability to exercise without pounding forces on their joints, which is really great for older dogs. Even dogs um, like Russ, who is a pretty fit dog and he has lived his life as a pretty fit dog, like he still has joint pain. So to be able to let him exercise and get what he needs without the pain from percussing forces on his joints is great. Dogs are interesting. They don't tell you they're injured quite often. Russ, he's done agility, so to make sure that I maintain his physical condition, he'll go into water treadmill and he'll be really happy in there and he knows the routine and he knows the people and he knows he's getting treats for it and stuff like that. And it feels good, so he really likes it really means a lot. That's great. I know that this has added to her quality of life and given her the ability to enjoy life longer. She did really well today. The incredible rehab group. They have been generous and kind-hearted and I can't thank them enough for their generosity and their expertise. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Mark.